The first three terms of an arithmetic sequence are 2p plus 3, and we have p plus 6, and p minus 2. So the question says that you must show that p is equals to 11. So for a sequence to be arithmetic, then the d, which is the difference, must be common, right? So when you subtract through these values here, we must have the constant d. So let's try it out. So we have p plus 6, which is this one here, d2. So let me first study it nicely. We have t1, t2, and t3. So to find the difference, we need to say t2 minus t1 is equals to t3 minus t2. So t2 is equals to p plus 6 minus t1 is equals to 2p plus 3 is equals to t3, which is p minus 2 minus t2, which is p plus 6. So then we're going to say p plus 6. And then the minus will multiply everything that is inside here. So we have minus 2p minus 3 is equals to p minus 2. The minus multiplies everything here. We have minus p minus 6. And then we add the like terms. It's going to be minus p. And this one here is going to be plus 3, which is equals to the like terms here will cancel out. Then we add this one here, minus 2 and minus 6, which is minus 8. Then we have minus p, we transpose the 3 that side, equals to minus 8 minus 3. So minus p is equals to minus 11, divided by negative 1. So therefore p is equals to 11. That's the answer. Now the second question says that calculate the smallest value of n for which tn is less than minus 55. So the first thing we need to do is we need to write our sequence which is 2p plus 3, p plus 6, p minus 2. So it's the very same sequence as this one. And then you must note that we just calculated that p is equals to 11. So we're going to substitute where there's p and put 11. 11 plus 6 11 minus 2, and then our sequence is going to be 25, 17, and 9. So now we have our sequence. So because this is an arithmetic, arithmetic sequence, then the difference must be constant, right? The same thing. So let's calculate D. So D is equal to T. 2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2. So if you calculate here, you're going to have t2 is 17 minus 25 is equal to t3, which is 9 minus 17. It will all give you minus 8. Right? So now, in this question, we are asked to calculate the, the smallest value of n for which tn is less than minus 55. So let me remove everything here. So now what's important is that we have our sequence, which is 25, 17, and 9. And we have our D, which is equals to minus 8. And then our a value is going to be 25. So now we're going to use the general formula, which is equals to tn is equals to a plus into n minus 1 d. And therefore, where does tn? We're going to put minus 55, right? And then here, at a, we know a is equals to 25 plus into n we don't know minus 1 d is minus 8 
so you can just put this this part here just here meaning that you can just rub this off and say less than minus 55 right and then I'm gonna say 25 plus the minus 8 multiplies the n is minus 8n the minus 8 multiplies the 1 is positive 8 less than minus 55 and then you transpose everything that's why this has minus 8n is less than minus 55 minus 8 minus 25 and then you add everything we have minus 8n less than minus 88 and then you divide by minus 8 divide by minus 8 n so just note that whenever you divide an inequality sign it changes the direction so if this if you divided this here with a negative number which is negative 1 in this case it will change to being greater than so here the same thing is going to happen with this one here it's going to change to greater than 11 thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe and write your comments down below